In this video, we're going to be at Florida State Clemson. We're going to look at a few clips from both sides. Some good stuff, some bad stuff. A couple of teams that I think are pretty physical. Pretty good football game. Obviously not perfect. As far as having athletes and being well coached, I think both teams are. Florida State being able to go into Death Valley and get a win, even in overtime, was really impressive. Before we dive into it, if you'd like and subscribe, and obviously if you'd like to get some merch, scroll down or look in the description. OffLipDesigns.com. We have a bunch of Coach Caviar stuff, some hoodies, sweatshirts, t-shirts, all that. Tank tops if you have the physique for it. But we'll dive right in, look at some of the clips, some of the different schemes that Florida State and Clemson used this past weekend. This very first look is a really intricate boot concept right here. You got two backs, you got a tight end, you got your two receivers right here. And they're making it look like they're running GT to the left. So right there you got your guard, you got a tackle pulling, and you're making it look like you're going same side GT here with the back. This off back is still in the edge right here for the quarterback to boot though. So right there you see he goes right there. They fake it right there, same side, and quarterback turns his back and he's rolling here. And what it looks like is there's some sort of a hitch or flat route, and right here he does some sort of an intermediate corner. Travis, as you see, these guys, lots of dudes running hard to him. So right there with that GT, you can see these backers step down. Extremely quick to feel right here. You got a tight end working across. You got like a smash type look here. And Travis has some big bodies running to him. Not a ton of protection. You just got this one back right there for that naked. And right here, rolling that way never gets his shoulders turned towards the sideline at all that's all arm and this is a really good throw as you see right here you got this corner down low you got to throw it through the window and just gets it through right there to his big target as he's getting hit so this is a really good football play it gets smoked obviously not ideal as far as the quarterback mechanics being able to get downhill or towards your target at all and right there all arm fits in the window good catch right there they're down 10 nothing trying to get something started here in this big drive right here at a double stack they got it stacked out here wide and as you see you got three on two three on two you got a five-man box right here kind of an interesting concept right here to the top it looks like he's inside releasing he's probably going up there to the corner this guy that's behind he inside releases as well and then he goes to the out so get to a smash right there with both guys inside releasing that'll make that corner pause it'll make everybody kind of pause wondering which guy He's going to go in, which guy's going to go out, what's going to happen. And right here with this one, you can see both of them inside release. And then he just speed cuts that to the out. Ball's out right now. It's on second and one. Get the completion. Corner does a pretty good job of falling down. And making a play here. Obviously, this corner could possibly win right there, but it's two on one with the safety and the linebacker. But right there, take your completion. Never go broke taking a profit. Good easy completion right there for about four or five. Make him tackle. If you break a tackle, now he can turn into a big play. Right there, really good play by the corner. Doesn't quite get him on the ground. You know right there when, with that much space as a corner, it's just a dog fight. Find a way to get him on the ground. That's what he does right there for about five or six. But really interesting concept. Mike Norvell and the Knowles found a way to get an easy throwing catch there for first down on second and one. Here's Florida State running counter over here to the two receiver side. They actually have him out here stacked against his three front. Right here, got to have it on here for a couple of reasons. We have this D end. He works out. Here's your puller. And 33 absolutely boxes. When we talk about boxing, this means turning it back in. And he absolutely wrecks this guard. That dude gets flat backed, dazed, stumbled. N hadn't seen a guard get folded like that in a while. I mean, that looks like one of those, like a stone cold stunner right there to the chin. Just absolutely lays that dude out and falls in. Is not able to make the play right there, but he absolutely turned that back and then demolished that guard. But right here, as far as the counter is concerned, a few things up front for Florida State. With this DN going to the C gap here, you're going to work through that to the backside linebacker. Instead, he tries to work up to the front side, which that kind of messes everything up. Should be a kick there. Should be a lead to the front side. Instead of walking right there and pinning that guy, he goes up to the front side, gets a hand on him. That could possibly lead to some negativity as far as holes or different things like that. His angle is not great, uh, but right there, the backside goal helps to clean this up. And then you've got an extra puller right there because you pulled not only was it GT, but then they also pulled this fullback right here on this one. It's able to work out. It's able to go backside. Whenever you do that, you're kind of susceptible to something running it down from the backside. So if that gets held up at all, uh, it's going to be an issue. But right there, is able to squeeze through. Now you've got your fullback, who's your third puller right there, rolling up. Gets all the way up to like a corner or safety. Big play right there. They didn't have just a ton of success running the football. Clemson did a pretty good job. You can see why. Because they're playing extremely physical like 33 does right here. But with that extra puller, the fullback and the tackle on the GT, they're able to pop that thing and get a pretty decent gain right here. About midway through the second quarter right here for Florida State. We really like this play here from Florida State. They're in a three receiver set over here. Looks like they're faking a screen right here to the number two receiver. 
he's going to stutter and he's going vertical. Same thing here, stuttering and then going vertical. But what they end up hitting is they get four guys out there. They're being pretty aggressive down to that screen. He shows it, and we'll roll it back see what the quarterback does. You see he catches it. He turns his shoulders, gets a little bit of a shoulder fake. And right here, once he sees that guy bursting to him, he goes to the middle of the field, runs through that arm. He's trying to grab him right there. Nobody left. That guy was supposed to guard him, and he's being aggressive down to that screen. These other guys are playing off of those stutters. They burst right into that open space that everybody had just vacated. Trying to get out on that screen and go or screen. Easy throwing catch right there for Florida State's first touchdown. Thought that was a really interesting play. Faking the screen and go. If the screen and go doesn't hit, now that guy, if he's guarded, somebody coming from the inside out, he can burst back to the middle of the field, which is what he does right here. Gets into that open space. Quarterback throws it up high. Obviously, it's a bigger receiver here, Keon Coleman. Easy throwing catch. Big touchdown there to get on the board for Florida State. Right here on this look, taking a shot, which they did pretty often. You got a post here. You got a wheel from the guy that's in the back. You're faking across to protect. You're actually getting a guard here as well, trying to hold. He's staying in. Some sort of a route right here. Quarterback, if I can throw this post, that means that I've got to look this direction, try to get this one high safety to hold there for just a little bit. And obviously, if you win right there, you could possibly throw that as well. But as you see, his eyes started there trying to get that safety to hold so they could possibly throw this post. So boom, hold that safety. Now get backside, find that post. And he lays it out there. You got to put a good pace to this ball because you see the safety trying to roll over. You can't just loft that thing up and let this guy run it down and then try to begin on that play. You got to throw this thing with some pretty good pace to it and keep your guy moving. Big body receiver is able to come down, use his body to protect the football right there and attacking it. Safety, pretty flat-footed right there. I'm not sure how in the world, based off of everything that's going on, that safety can't make a play on that deep post. And there you've got your wheel. Here's the back checking out. So really not much else there if this post isn't there. So luckily they're able to go over the top right here. Gives his big receiver a chance, and he comes down with it. And one of a couple of explosive plays that they had in the passing game that were really key. Here's the same counter that we saw earlier where you're getting a guard, you're getting a tackle, and you're getting the fullback. So three guys pull into the front side, and we'll take a look at it. There's a double should be going to the back side. Kick, lead, and you got an extra guy to lead up on the safety. The one thing right here whenever you do pull three guys is you're really weak here to the back side. So right here, Travis, he's got to read this defensive end. If he squeezes, he can pull it. And you're also negative right here if that guy sits back side and gets a pull. Once this thing is handed off, again, here's the DN that rolled into that C gap. He's going to try to box this thing create a pile right there and it's just a log jam right there you see all those pullers and he comes in he's wrong shoulders it now it's just a huge log jam everybody's held up and the backside is weak because there's not a guy sealing at all backside one log jam linebacker gets over the top log jam is that again two to three yards deep now there's still another puller now they're running that thing down once you get that log jam and don't let this thing hit vertical now the speed gets into it people can run it down from the backside, and that's what happens right here Minus four yards on that GT with the H pulling. And right here, it starts off that first log jam because they're not able to get downhill. And this linebacker over here smokes it right there. Now that thing's having to bounce. Now that thing's not able to hit, hit vertical. And it's still not able to hit outside because that guy's outside as well. And then defense able to run down. So this is picture perfect defense against that GT plus the H counter. Good job creating that log jam holding those pullers up, and letting it run down from the backside. Here's a play that Clemson ran a couple times in the game. This time it works out for a touchdown. Later in the game, it gets knocked down because there's too much pressure and they're able to get it off. And right here, they get it somewhat lucky. So swinging the back here, obviously one of their better players getting out right there. I would probably slide my line that direction because if we can get it out hot this direction. We can't get it out hot because our eyes start here as a quarterback. So to me, this is not great as far as the mix between the protection and the route. You definitely want that protection that direction. But anyway, stutter right there, and then he's going to the middle of the field, and it opens up wide open right here because this guy's feeling outside. This linebacker's feeling fast to try to run down that if it's a swing. Now this wide receiver is working the middle window, and Klubnik gets it out just enough time as he's getting smoked. You see that right there. Ball's out as he's absolutely getting wrecked. That feels really bad, but somehow they able to throw an accurate ball right there. Receiver goes up, makes a play, gets him down close to the end zone right there. So they ran this later, and they still didn't fix the protection issue, even though Klebnik nearly got broken half. But they got the completion that time, so they came back to it, 
and I think he got smoked again. Here's a look at really important play in this game. If this doesn't happen, I don't really think Florida State has a chance. But anyway, they end up bringing these two to the side from depth. So right here, if you're stopping it here, you say, all right, there are a couple guys that could come. These safeties are non-factors, but they are over the top enough that that guy could possibly come, that guy could possibly come, that guy. So right there, you've got seven guys that could get into the play, and you've got six to protect. So somebody's got to have a double read. Typically, if you have those linemen, you're going four down to the mic, so this back's probably double reading this, checking most dangerous. And Forsyth does a pretty good job of looking like they're playing with width and, and staying out of the box. Right here with this dude coming from depth and not really showing it, that's what I think lulls this guy to sleep. He comes across, he checks this linebacker right here, and then he just goes ahead and gets out. But he should check there, and then check backside and leave the O-line for those five. Unless somebody walks down, then they can possibly push it, and then they can have a double read right there. But right here, nobody's close enough to push it. So we've got to check both of these linebackers here. And that guy comes from depth. Obviously, you get a quick read right there. He's dropping. He tries here just to make sure. And here comes four nobody even in his way he puts his hat on the football now it's loose but right there we can see back's got to have that double read because the old line's going to take four, uh, four down plus the mic you got to scan both those outside backers that could be a viable option four flies in there knocks the ball loose the rest is history good play right there by four and obviously the wherewithal with all these guys hey scoop that thing four is even the guy that picks it up and goes and scores now you got these big bodies in front of you and obviously, Klubnik right here, he's been taught well. Don't be the woo. Let's go to that front pylon, see what can happen. Don't let somebody slide up there and get absolutely decleated. Get around that. Try to outrun those guys. Doesn't even come close. He just kind of dives at his legs. But either way, huge play there by Florida State. That blitz coming from depth and Clemson holding that ball for just that long is really what made this play. Because typically, if you're coming from depth, hopefully that ball is out. Even if that running back doesn't see it, unless you're pressing that thing way downfield. But right there, Florida State's able to make a play. Really gave him a chance in this game, tied this game up right here. I thought this was a pretty interesting look. Right here, you got 14 running a corner. You got this fullback, he's just running a snag, basically. And you got a flat route. So, with the alignment here, this guy's either guard, got to guard that snag. Or he's got to guard the flat route. And if this corner comes down and guards the flat route, now you got that corner over the top. So right there, pretty easy read. High, low. And as you see, six, he's outside releasing that. Getting a blitz here from that linebacker. Now this middle backer is the only guy that can guard both of these. There's six running that snag. He's in that way. If we can get it around this guy, it's going to be a big place. There's nobody left. Middle backer's trying to get there. So right as a quarterback, if you could hold that, you saw that guy a little bit tighter. Now you throw that snag right there and behind him. But right there, you got to get be an athlete, get it up and over. That's what happens right there, over and over the linebacker. Get into one of your players. That's a running back right there. So those are the guys you're trying to get in space. There's the corner route over the top for that corner would have played low. And now they're rolling. Outrunning that mic. Anytime you can get a basically a race with a running back and a mic, this is typically what's going to happen no matter who you're playing, whether it's Florida State, Clemson, Georgia, Alabama. It don't matter. Typically those backs... If you can have a race with a mic, they're probably going to win. So right there, diving in his legs, no chance. And now, explosive play there for Florida State late in the game. Here's a look of Klubnik trying to be aggressive. Obviously, they're in 2x2. Two two. They're running inside zone to the left. They're in double stacks. So right here, you're looking at it. You've got two on one right here. Throwing the ball right now. All right, but as a right-handed quarterback, you got to know right there, if the running back's track takes him across, you better step back. So this is one of the details that he just left out there. For whatever reason, I'm sure he's done this a thousand times. But you've got to think, hey, the back's right there. I've got to step back and away as I'm ripping this ball out here to my guy. Because if he rips it out there, he's going to catch it. And they're going to be in space. They're two on one here. But instead, he just catches it and tries to throw it. And his arm hits this running back who's coming across. Fumble. And then he just falls down. This almost looks like a seventh grade football play. Just no awareness there by Klubnik, really, that you've got to step away. I'm sure their coaches have told him that a hundred times. Not a good look right there. Not great awareness. Just has to hold on to it right there on second and two. And it's high game against Florida State. This is a really good view right here that just kind of shows how hard it is to beat a good defense. Florida State right here, they know it's man-to-man. -man. They're getting a chip right here to release. And there are a couple guys spying the quarterback right here. So this guy folds in, and he jumps up in the air. About the time he's going to throw, have to throw through that window. So you're seeing that dude jump, take a lot of space away from the quarterback. And he's still able to throw through that window on this dig route to his big receiver who gets down and makes a play just before that safety breaks on and breaks it up. But right here, if you're looking, it's man-to-man -man all over the place. You got a couple guys spying. Make those windows small. 
And right here, looking at the X receiver, so right over here, number 14, he shakes a little bit. He wins to the inside, get vertical. I've got to lean back against my defender and then break that thing flat to create some space. And right there, when he sticks it, he's able to get just enough with that hip to create some space, get down, make a play right there before that safety gets there again. The margin of error right there against a the good defense is so small. Create those explosive plays just like they do right there. Really impressive. Tons of reps right here for these receivers, quarterbacks, to make this happen. So really impressive and just kind of comes to show a lot of stuff has to go right for these big plays whenever you're in these games and these situations like this against good teams like Clemson. Right here's a touchdown in overtime. You started an empty motioning guy back. And basically, you know that you're running this fade right here. You want to take a shot. There's a lot of stuff going on. Looks like a bit of a snag over here. But just throwing this fade. And the quarterback knows it's what he wants to start off with. No safety help. You got a press corner. You got your best dude right here. And the alignment right there, a couple yards inside the numbers. So you got tons of space there to throw. And right here is the ball snapped. You see, he all he does is play with speed. He gets off the ball, gets outside leverage. Now he leans. Don't let him push you to the sideline. Create another defender. Lean. Hold your space. Let the quarterback throw it outside the numbers here, which is what happens. Wide receiver attacks the football. Goes up, makes a play with two hands, finishes in the end zone. Great catch. Great strong catch right there. And obviously this is a transfer from Michigan State. That's made a huge impact in a couple really big games this year. Goes up and gets it. But again, great spot there by the quarterback. Knowing that he's going to lean and fight against pressure, he's not going to let him wash him to the ticks, wash him to the sideline, create another defender there with the out-of-bounds line. You got that entire field right there to throw. Throw it up high, know your receiver. Let him go make a play for you. That's what happens. Huge touchdown, obviously, in overtime. Ends up being the game winner for Florida State. Right here on this play, you got a couple things that go wrong for Clemson. They've got an extra lineman over here. They're running duo that direction inside zone. And if you're looking at it, should probably just hand the thing off. It's, it's on a third and one. You're getting a ton of push right here. Let's just hand this thing off, get a first down, and keep this drive alive and not get down to a fourth down. The other thing right here, if you do throw it, which as this ball is getting snapped, I get it. It's three on two. This guy's getting out there late. You block most dangerous here. You wrap around right there. You should take these two and then leave him to try to come in late. But right here, as you're looking at it, this ball is snapped. This guy doesn't even get off the ball. He's sitting there pointing. He's trying to do whatever, trying to communicate. I don't know. I would assume that this guy probably, there ain't no reason for that dude to point. He should probably be lined up, looking at the football, so when the ball is snapped, he can get off. Right here, he's going to block most dangerous. All right, so right there, as the ball's getting flipped out, you can see he does block most dangerous. He blocks that guy that comes down first. He should be blocking the second most dangerous. He'd be wrapping around blocking there now if they get that guy taken care of and he actually gets off on the football and not paying attention to what's going on they'll take care of these two and this guy will be the only unblocked guy with a catch he's got a body on him he's going to get vertical right there maybe he makes that guy miss maybe he gets to the end zone here but this dude playing extremely slow off the football he's lined up he's pointing the ball's been snapped already and now he's leaving his dude out to dry great job there by the corner being aggressive coming up low angle tackle everybody running the football get him on the ground Really cost him right there, not getting lined up. Now he's sitting there, he's going palms up on his buddy here who actually lined up and made a play and blocked somebody. So I'm really not sure what's going on with that. I know if I was Clemson, this would be one of those plays that would, that would be really hard for me to stomach because I know we got the run. We've got the pass too, but we've got just dudes not doing their job. They're out there pointing instead of just getting lined up and then blocking the guy they're supposed to block. So very frustrating right there. I know if you're a Clemson fan, hopefully some things that you guys can get fixed in the future right here fourth and two last play of the game motion across to see manner zone right here obviously man to man he flies up here tries to press and all they're running right here are double slants and they've had some success this game with it four state ends up bringing the pressure they're trying to make something happen right now and as this ball is snapped you see there's first slant second slant it's got a little bit more time to work you're getting a blitz here and these guys are getting their hands up and they get a piece of it right there so kind of anticlimactic but right here as well on this one-on-one -on -one here with that corner. He's driving it right there. That would have been a really tough throw and catch if they were able to get this ball through as well. But right there, the hands up. Knock that thing down. Obviously, when that ball gets tipped, no chance for P.I. right there. But it would have been a really tough completion right here. You can see that DB is working through. He's splitting the hands. That would have been a tough completion either way. But right there, hands up. Knocked it away. Huge win for Florida State.